school basketball game. If you'd like to see the action that we're currently broadcasting, you can head on over to kkx.org forward slash stream. From there, click on our primary or secondary YouTube channel at the bottom of the menu. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the starters for Mendocino are going to be Bo, Pablo, Angelino, Enzo, and Theo. The game's currently about to start. It looks like Pablo is going to be jumping against Brandon from Fort Bragg. So yeah, the game's about to get started here. It should be an exciting one. And here we go. Jump ball goes up and Pablo gets it over to Angelino. Angelino passes it on over to Bo for the first possession of the game. Bo gets it over to Theo. Theo looking inside, but it's not there. Theo takes one dribble and takes a three-pointer, but it's no good. Fort Bragg with the rebound. It looks like it's going to be number 22, Nolan, taking it up. Uh, he goes up for the layup, but it's no good, and Theo grabs that rebound. Theo taking it up the court. Court scores to currently at zero to zero with seven minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Bo looking for a pass, and it looks like he takes one too many steps and gets a travel violation called. So it looks like it's going to be Brayton taking up the ball again for Fort Bragg. We'll see if they can get the first points of the game here. Brayton looking inside. It looks like they're running an ISO play on Brayton, and he gets a wide open look at the rim. He tries to get it over to number 24, Orion, but Theo kicks it out of bounds, and it's going to be Mendocino's ball. Theo taking up the ball here for Mendo, looking inside. Four Braggs coming out with some half-court pressure immediately here. Gets it over to Enzo in the corner. Enzo tries to pass over to Bo, but a nice interception there by Brayton from Fort Bragg. Brayton kicks it out to Cooper in the corner for a three, but no good. However, Brayton grabs the rebound, gets it back out to the free throw line for number 14, Brandon, and Brandon gets the mid-range pull-up. So now we have Mendo with the ball, Bo taking it up the court, passes to Theo. Looking for some options here, but throws a turnover, and now mm, Cooper with the steal. So we have six minutes, 27 seconds left in the first quarter. The score is zero to two for Bragg winning. We have Cooper with the ball, trying to make something happen here. Drives it in, kicks it to Kevin. Almost turns it over, and a jump ball. Good hustle from Bo. Uh, we have Brandon inbounding the ball. Calls a play, passes to Cooper. He throw, dishes it inside, throws it back out, and then missed three from Brayton. Bo dribbling up the court on a fast break. Takes it in. Misses the layup. But a put back by Theo. Great put back by Theo there. Manages to get Mendo's points off the missed layup from Bo. Score is currently tied up at 2-2 with 5 minutes and 47 seconds left in the first quarter as Brayton misses the three-pointer there. Goes out of bounds and it's going to be Mendocino's ball. Theo's going to be playing point in this one, taking the ball up. Looks like they're setting up in their position with Pablo and Angelino down low at the post. Gets it over to Theo. Theo to Enzo in the corner for a three, and no good on that one. For Bragg gets the rebound. Kicks it back over to Orion, who takes up the ball. Orion gets it to Cooper in the wing three-pointer, and Cooper drives in. Nice move by Cooper there, but the layup is no good. However, Forbrag manages to get the rebound. Brayton kicks it back to Cooper. Cooper for another three-pointer, but no good. Great rebounding by Forbrag here. They just got two offensive boards in a row. And another pull-up mid-range missed by Brandon. And this time it goes out of bounds, so Mendocino will get the possession. 
Theo taking the ball up here. Five minutes left on the clock, still tied at 2-2. Theo calling for a screen. Pablo gets him that, and Theo drives in for a floater there, but it's no good. Rebound by Orion. Orion gets it over to Kevin. Kevin passes it to Brayton. Brayton trying to make a move on Poe, but good be defense by Bo there. Has to kick it back out to Brandon. Brandon for three, and it's good. Great shot by Brandon there. That puts Fort Bragg up three points at 5-2. Very nice shot from Brandon there, but the ball is in Theo's hands right now. Dribbling up the court, passes to Enzo in the corner with a comeback three of his own, but it's just short. Bo has the ball right now. Now Theo driving baseline, and it's a foul call. Number five fouled Theo. Um, the score is two to five. Four Bragg is winning with four minutes and seven seconds left in the first quarter. Angelino is subbed out and Jack is in. Pablo throws a turnover. Cooper on a fast break. Out to Brayton for the nice layup. For Bragg doing a great job rebounding in this game. That's definitely what's putting them in the lead with the score 2-7, Fort Bragg up by five. Another missed shot by Mendocino, this time by Theo from the three-point. And it's going to be Cooper taking it up. Kicks it over to Brandon on the outside. Brandon tries to drive, but it looks like he took one too many steps and a travel is called. It's going to be back over to Mendocino's possession. Looks like Bo taking it up this time. Bo looking for the pass. Gets it over to Theo. Nice little tip by Cooper there. Slows down the play and hits it out of bounds. It's still going to be Mendocino's ball. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Pablo kicks it to Bo. Bo fakes the pass and drives into the middle. Bo kicks it back out to Pablo on the three-point line, and a foul is called, I believe, on Cooper this time. That'll be the first foul on Fort Bragg. It's going to be Pablo passing it in. Looks like Mendo's having some communication issues, but he manages to get it into Theo. Theo looking for the pass, kicks it over to Enzo on the three-point line. Enzo pulls the three and is just short there. Cooper with another rebound. Cooper taking up the ball for Fort Bragg. Three minutes left in the quarter. Cooper over to Brandon, Brandon to Brayton. Brayton drives, pump fakes, and gets it back over to Orion. Orion trying to make something happen in the post, but is double teamed. Kicks it out to Cooper for the three-pointer, and it's good. It looks like a foul is called there. Not sure if they will count the shot. And they do count it, and Cooper's going to be sent over to the line. A nice three-point shot from Cooper and getting the foul call. Just chance for a four-point play. Uh, two minutes, 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. Score is 2-10. to ten. Four Bragg is up. Missed free throw by Cooper. Fighting for the board, and the board, and Mendo comes out on top. Pushing the ball, Bo on the fast break. Gets it into the middle. Kicks it to Theo. Theo's moving it around. Enzo in the corner, wide open. Mm, really close, nice shot. Um, we have... Orion with the ball, passes to Brandon, hits it in the middle, and the miss layup by Kevin. The rebound is taken by Fort Bragg and stripped, and then Fort Bragg regains possession. We have Kevin with the ball dribbling outside, passes to Brayton, shooting the three-pointer, and it's short. Gets the rebound and puts it back up for the layup. Uh, nice shot there by Fort Bragg, now extending their lead to double digits, 2-12 to 12 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Enzo kicks it into Jack. Jack with the layup, but no good. Great interception by Theo as Brandon tries to get it down the court. He gets it over to Pablo, but Pablo unfortunately misses the layup for Mendo. Looks like it's going to be Brandon dribbling it up here. Nice pull-up three, but it's just short of the rim. Rebound Orion, and he's smothered in the paint. It looks like he's going to get a travel called on him. 
Anthony coming in for four Bragg and Phoenix subbing in for Mendo. Theo going out. We'll see how that goes here. Looks like it's going to be Pablo getting it into Bo. Bo playing point guard for the last one and a half minutes of this quarter. Tries to get it to Enzo, but Enzo cuts out of the way. And it looks like it's going to remain Mendo's position as it goes out on Anthony's leg. Enzo passing it in in the corner, gets it to Jack. Anthony grabs the ball from Jack's hands and a jump ball is called. Nice defense by Anthony there, trapping Jack in the corner. That's a hard pass to make. Looks like it's gonna be Brayton taking it up here. Only about a minute left in the first quarter. Kicks it over to Cooper for three, but is no good. Orion with the rebound and the putback. And the layup is good as well as a foul called. So he's gonna to go to the line for a chance at a three point play. Nice little and one here for Orion. Shooting the free throw. We have one minute and four seconds left. The score is two to 12, Fort Bragg is up. Seemed to be a little miscommunication. And they add the points to Fort Bragg, making it two to 14. A sub in has changed. We have Clayton coming in for Enzo and Andre coming in for Brandon. Oh, Brandon staying in. And Cooper is out. Pat a shoot. And the free throw is good. Mendo gains possession. Trying to inbound the ball, and Fulbright is running a very tough press to break. But Mendo gets in the ball. Bo dribbles it up the court. And Mendo is very playing a very controlled game, but Forbrag is doing well at pressuring them. Bo is tanking it inside, passes to Jack, who just misses the layup. Bo with the steal, passes to Pablo on the three, and it's good. Nice shot from Pablo. Great shot by Pablo there. I believe that's the first three-pointer from Mendo this game. Puts them down 10, 5 to 15. Great pass by Anthony there over to Orion, and Orion gets the easy wide open layup. It'll be back to Mendo's possession with 30 seconds left. Nice little layup. Oh, and another fast break for Fort Bragg. Taking it down and just misses the layup. It seems to be off on Fort Bragg, just off, his, just off of Brayton's leg. Pablo inbounding the ball, and Fort Bragg takes the press off. Bo running the point. Gets it to Pablo. Pablo's looking around. Gets it to Clayton in the middle, who takes it up. And a nice shot by Clayton. Only five seconds left. Fort Bragg with the ball. Brandon gets it over to Anthony. Anthony for the buzzer beater three, but it's no good. That'll be the end of the first quarter. The score here is 7-17. to Fort Bragg with the 10-point lead. Fort Bragg's doing a great job with the rebounds, and those rebounds are leading to open fast breaks, which I believe has gotten them at least six points this game. So Fort Bragg is doing a great job with that, and if Mendo wants to stay in this game, they need to box out, grab some rebounds. And Mendo's actually doing a great job as well of getting open threes. Unfortunately for them, they're just not falling, but I'm sure if they continue to get open like that, then they'll get back in this game. Fort Bragg is also a bit taller than them, so I think Mendo should box out more, grab the rebounds, and we'll see what happens. What do you think, Dylan? Um, I think Mendo definitely is still in this game. I think that if they just play their game, get the shots, get the good shots at least, they they could be right back in this game within a minute. We have one second left of this. And the second quarter is about to begin. And the second quarter has just begun. Mendo inbounding the ball. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California's own student-powered radio. 
For more information about this program or broadcast station, point your web browser over to kikx.org. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube using the handle kikx893. You can even stream us from anywhere across the globe by heading over to kikx.org forward slash stream. Getting back into this game, it's going to be Fort Bragg with the ball. Andre dribbling around. He gets it into Brandon. Brandon with the nice post move on Pablo, but the layup is no good. Rebound by Jack. Jack fast break one-on-one -on -one against Fort Bragg. Goes up with the layup and is no good, but he is fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Nice job by Jack there, drawing the contact on the layup. And even though he missed, he will get a chance to make up the points at the line. It looks like some confusion by Jack there. Uh, but he does end up heading over to the line. He's going to get two free throws. And seven minutes and 19 seconds left in this game as Jack goes up for his first one. First shot is no good, but he will get a chance to get another and break down this lead to single digits. Substitution here, Trevor coming in for Fort Bragg and Orion is going out as Jack takes his second free throw. Second free throw is good, and that puts Fort Bragg only up by nine, eight to 17, with Fort Bragg in the lead. We have Brandon with the ball, setting a screen for Andre. Andre looking to make something happen on the outside. Passes to Nolan. Nolan drives in with the little floater, and it's just short. Brandon gets the rebound. And it is Mendo's ball now, after it is tipped out by Fort Bragg. We have six minutes and 53 seconds left in the second quarter. Um, Fort Bragg is only up by nine points, and the score is eight to 17. We have Bo running the point, bringing it up, passes to Pablo. Pablo pump fakes, drives in, oh, and just loses the ball. Fort Bragg with the steal. We have Andre dribbling it up, looking to make something happen. We have a fake screen set, and Kevin with the ball passes to Nolan, and a travel is called on Nolan. Mendo gains possession. It's going to be Mendo's possession here, 8-17 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Bo taking up the ball this time. Bo driving to the paint, kicks it out to Pablo. Pablo back to Bo. Bo, nice crossover on Anthony there, but he cannot get past as he is double teamed. Kicks it out to Pablo for the three-pointer, but the shot is no good. This time it is going to be Andre taking up the ball for Fort Bragg. Gets it over to Nolan. Nolan with a nice jump shot, and it is good. Puts Fort Bragg up 19 to eight with five minutes and 54 seconds left in this first half. We have the ball tipped out by Fort Bragg. Pablo inbound in the ball. Five minutes and 51 seconds left now. Oh, and a tip by Fort Bragg for the nice steal. We have Kevin dribbling the ball down. Crossing up and with a nice little layup inside. Pablo gets the ball to Clayton. Clayton dribbles down and passes to Phoenix. It seems as there they're trying to run a play where a screen is being set, but it does not end up working out for Mendo and the Timberwolves gain possession of the ball. We have Nolan dribbling it down. Kevin with the ball passes to Anthony. Andre, pump fakes from the three. Knocks down Bo. Gets it to Nolan inside and with a nice little layup. Strange there. It looks like there was a charge on Fort Bragg, but the refs did not call it. Bo got sent to the ground. But Fort Bragg will get the layup there. It is 8-2-23 with Fort Bragg in the lead. About five minutes left in the first half. It looks like Mendo right now is struggling to handle the ball. 
they need to be more careful with their passes because Fort Bragg is a little bit taller. So it's a bit harder to pass around them as the timeout is called here by Coach Matt from Mendocino. Five minutes left on the clock and looks like at timeout, Theo is going back in as well as Angelino, I believe. So we'll see if they can make a difference in this one. But Fort Bragg doing a great job both offensively and defensively, finding the open man for the easy layups. And yeah, Mendo just needs to take care of the ball a little better, grab some boards, and they can get right back in this game. About five minutes left. Timeout still going here. I believe the starters after this timeout for Mendo will be Pablo, Bo, Theo, Phoenix, as well as Enzo. Timeout wrapping up here. We'll see if the coaches Matt and Wet for Mendo can make a difference in this one. So yeah, both teams going back out on the court. I believe it is going to be Mendo's possession. And Angelino actually coming in here. Looks like some miscommunication from Mendo. They think it's Fort Bragg's ball, but they go back to their side of the court. Pablo is going to be passing it in here. D gets it out to Enzo from three. Enzo goes over to Theo for the three-point shot, but it's no good. Rebound by Mason here. I believe this is Mason's first minutes in the game for Fort Bragg. And Mason kicks it in to Andre. Andre goes for the layup, but it's no good. However, he gets his own rebound. Kicks it back out to Anthony. Anthony tries to go inside, but nice steal by Clayton there. Clayton gets it over to Enzo and is double teamed. However, he manages to get it back to Theo. Theo taking the ball up here. About four minutes left in the first quarter. Kicks it over to Enzo for the three-pointer, but is no good. Another rebound by Mason. Mason taking it up quickly here. And it looks like Pablo takes the charge. Great defensive job by Pablo there. He gets to the spot and stands still. And that will be Mendocino's ball. A great charge by Pablo. You don't see that often in the games, but way to put himself in front of him. We have Theo dribbling the ball down the court. He's trying to get the ball inside, or no, he's moving it around the outside, dribbling around. Sees Pablo open for the three, but is now contested. Theo getting it to Enzo in the corner. Theo has the ball now up top. Now it's Pablo. Pablo shoots the three and just misses. We have Trevor with the ball, gets it over to Andre, and Nolan now has the ball. Nolan gets the ball back up top, faking around, gets it inside to Andre, and Andre with the little putback layup. Fort Bragg doing a great job of moving the ball around in this game, finding the open man and leading to easy layups for them. Score is now 8-25 to 25 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Three minutes left in the quarter as Anthony gets the steal and goes for the fast break layup, but Clayton manages to get a hand on it and get the steal back. Pablo now driving in for Mendo, gets it out to Enzo in the corner, who passes it into Clayton. Clayton with the floater there, and it looks like the ball gets stuck between the rim and the backboard. That always happens once in a while, and I believe it's a jump ball when that does happen. But good shot by Clayton there, finds the open shot. And the ref knocks it back down. Only about two minutes and 45 seconds left in this quarter. Looks like it's going to be Fort Bragg's possession this time. I believe Nolan will be taking up the ball for Fort Bragg. Nolan gets the screen from Andre and then passes it over to Andre. Andre gets it back to Nolan. Nolan goes in for the layup, but is no good. However, he is fouled, so he'll get a chance to go to the line and get two more points. Nolan shooting two at the line. Two minutes and 35 seconds left in the first half. Score is eight to 25 for Bragg in the lead. Nolan warming up for his first shot. 
His first free throw is good. That'll be another point for Fort Bragg. It looks like Fort Bragg has four subs coming in. Huge change for them on the court. Cooper going in, Brandon, as well as Orion and Kevin. Nolan will stay on as he is shooting free throws. Getting ready for his second shot. And his second shot is good as well. Great free throws by Nolan there. Another two points for Fort Bragg. We have another substitution. Angelino comes out for Jack. Bo running the point still, dribbling it up. Enzo is open in the corner, and Bo just misses him. Clayton dribbling it up top. Tries to get inside to Pablo, but it's stripped by Fort Bragg, and now they have a fast break with Cooper leading it. Gets it inside to Brayton, but just misses the layup, and Orion gets the putback layup. That'll be another two points for Fort Bragg, making the score eight to 29. Two minutes left in the first half. Bo tries to drive, good look by him there, but a nice steal from Kevin. Kevin kicks it out to Cooper in the three. He does not take the shot, pump fakes and goes for the layup, but is no good. Enzo grabbing board here. Enzo taking up the ball for Mendocino. Looking for the pass. Gets it over to Clayton on the outside. Clayton swings it all the way over to Bo, but great steal by Orion there. Orion kicks it to Cooper, and nice Euro step, however, the layup is no good. Enzo grabbing the rebound, gets it to Bo for the fast break. Bo puts up the layup, but is no good. However, Clayton grabs the rebound, kicks it out to Enzo, resets the play. Enzo taking another three, but the shot is no good. Mendo definitely struggling from the three-point line tonight. Kevin takes the one dribble pull-up jump shot, but is no good. Rebound by Orion. Goes back up over Pablo and misses again, but he grabs his own rebound. Two O boards by Enzo in a row there. Orion driving in, kicks it over to Cooper in the block, and Cooper puts up the open layup. It'll now be at Mendocino's ball. There's 46 seconds left in the second quarter. The score is eight to 31, four Bragg is up. We have Enzo with the ball in the corner. Jack gets it inside. Pablo, and it just missed the layup. We have Brandon with the rebound. Now Cooper leading the ball as point guard. He gets the screen, and now Brandon has the ball. Sets the fake screen, dishes it inside to Brandon. Gets it outside to Cooper. Rebound by Brandon, and nice little layup. Little skerfuffle of the ball, but Fort Bragg gets the layup. Looks like Bo taking it up here. Great defense by Mendocino. They're just having trouble getting rebounds. Pablo kicks it to Jack for the spin around jump shot. That was the last shot of the half as the buzzer rings there. Final score of the first half is 8-33. to Fort Bragg in the lead. If Mendo wants to bring this one home, they are going to have to step up their rebounding game. Fort Bragg also doing a great job of their zone. They're running a 2-3, and Mendo's having a hard time driving in. So we'll see if Matt and Wes can make some adjustments here and change it so they can get back in this game. What do you think, Dylan? Yeah, um, Mendo let the lead slip away a little bit, but we still still have a chance to come back with another 16 minutes to play. So yeah, make sure you come back in about 10 minutes. The next half will start. In the meantime, we are going to send you back to the station for some music. Enjoy, guys.
everyone? Welcome back to the broadcast of the JV Boys Mendocino versus Fort Bragg basketball game. We're getting back into the third quarter, seven minutes and 30 seconds left. Score is eight to 33. Fort Bragg taking up the ball here. Brayton kicks it over to Orion. Orion back to Brayton. Brayton driving inside for the layup. Great moving shot by Brayton there. Uh, another two points for Fort Bragg, so now eight to 35, Fort Bragg in the lead. Bo dribbling up the ball, tries to kick it back inside, but is deflected by Fort Bragg. It's gonna be Mendo's ball once again. And now it is Mendo's ball with Pablo taking it out. Passes into Bo, Bo dribbling on the outside. Pass it over to Clayton, takes a couple dribbles in and tries to pass it over to Angelino, it's good. Dishes it out. Dribbling on the outside, and it is out, Mendo's ball. Looks like good job on Fort Bragg at keeping the offense around the perimeter and not letting them inside. And now Mendo passes it in, passes it into Bo. Bo in the corner, gets it out, Pablo snatches it. Passes it, but it is stolen by Brayton. Brayton dribbling up the court, dishes out to Cooper in the three. Passes over to Kevin, Kevin driving in with some good moves. Goes for the layup and it's no good. Theo with the rebound. Theo driving up the court. Looking around, looking where to pass. Passes, oh, and it's a travel called. And it looks like it will be Fort Bragg's ball with Cooper taking the ball out. It's a big deficit for Mendo right now with 35 to eight, Fort Bragg in the lead. Six minutes and 22 seconds in the third quarter. Fort Bragg swinging it along the outside, passes to Cooper. Cooper for three, and it is no good. Rolls around the rim and bounces out. Orion with the ball, looking around for a pass, passes it in to Brandon. Brandon tries to pass it, but it is out on Mendo with Fort Bragg taking an inbound. Orion gets the ball and looking to pass it in. Passes it to Cooper in the three. Cooper drives in and takes the jump shot. It is no good. Kevin gets the rebound, passes it over to Orion. Orion dishes it out to Brayton. Good little pass into Orion, but the layup is no good. It's a rebound by Clayton and a foul underneath by Fort Bragg. It's gonna be Mendo's ball, foul on Clayton there. Bo taking it in. Six minutes left in the third quarter, eight to 35 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Bo driving in. Get nice move, but he just misses the layup. Rebound by Fort Bragg, kicks it over to Cooper for the fast break. Fast break layup is no good, but Orion grabs the board. Orion kicks it into a cutting Brayton, who gets the moving shot. That'll be another two points for Fort Bragg. Now Mendo's ball with Bo driving up the court. Bo dribbling around the outside, passes to Theo. Theo drives in a couple steps, takes the jump shot, and it is no good, but he gets his own rebound and goes back up in the paint, and that is good. Two points for Mendo. This time it'll be Brayton taking up the ball for Fort Bragg. Kicks it over to Brandon, Brandon to Cooper. Cooper on top of the three point line looking for the pass. Drives in and it looks like he runs into Orion there, but manages to get it back to Brandon for the post layup. It'll be Mendo taking up the ball. Bo dribbling. Passes over to Theo, Theo for the three, and it is an air ball with Orion getting the rebound. Orion passes to Brandon, who is taking the ball up the court this time. Stops at the three and takes it. It is no good, bounces off the rim, and Clayton gets the rebound. Passes it over to Bo, Bo dribbling up the court through the Fort Bragg players. Theo turning around, passes it out to Bo, passes it back to Theo. A lot of good ball movement going on here. Pablo standing wondering what to do, and he dribbles over to the right, drives in, and takes the jump shot floater, which is no good. Fort Bragg gets the rebound, and now it is Fort Bragg's ball with Cooper taking the ball up the court. Cooper passes over to Brayton, Brayton with the pump fake, and drives in for a nice little layup. That is good. Nice layup by Brayton there. Pump fakes, and his defender bites, so he gets a nice look at the rim. Bo taking up the ball here, drives through the entire Fort Bragg team, but the layup just barely rolls out. One-on-one, -on -one, Orion versus Pablo in the fast break. 
it looks like he hesitated on the shot and a travel is called. So that'll be Mendo's possession. Some subs coming in here. David coming in for Angelino and Phoenix coming in for Bo. Looks like it's going to be Mendo's ball. Five minutes left in the third quarter. 10 to 41 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Just a reminder, you're tuned into KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, student-powered radio. For more information about this program or broadcast station, point your web browser over to kkx.org. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube using the handle kkx893. And you can even stream us from anywhere across the globe by heading over to kkx.org forward slash stream. Back into the game, it's going to be Clayton dribbling it up. Tries to kick it down to Theo across the court, but Anthony gets the steal. Anthony back out to Trevor for the three-pointer, but it's no good. Rebound by Pablo. Pablo doing a great job rebounding here in this second half, really turning it up. And gets it out to Theo on the outside. Theo bounce pass to Phoenix from three. Phoenix back to Theo. Theo looking for a pass inside. Theo dribbling around, taking his time. It looks like he's calling a play here. Uh, gets it inside to David. David pulls up for the jump shot, but is no good. Nice rebound by Clayton there. Mendel will get another chance to score. Clayton back up to Theo. Theo three-pointer, no good. And it, it is out of bounds on Mendo. Great hustle there by Theo and Pablo, making some good plays. Defensive, I mean offensively, and rebounding as well. It is now Fort Bragg's ball on Mendo's side of the court. Anthony dishes out to Cooper. Cooper passes it to Brayton. Brayton swings back out to Cooper with some good ball movement, a three, and it is good. A good play there by Fort Bragg, and now it is Mendo's ball. 44 to 12, Fort Bragg in the lead with three minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We'll see if Mendo can turn up the heat a little bit and get back some of this distance. Theo on the outside, dribbling around, picks up his dribble and passes to Clayton. Clayton drives in with the floater and it is no good. Close, but not quite. Oh, and Fort Bragg with a big pass over to Brayton who gets a fast break layup. Now 46 to 12 for Fort Bragg with two minutes and 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Theo has the ball and he's dribbling on the outside. Theo dribbles inside, tries to get it over to Phoenix but is tipped by Brayton from Fort Bragg. Um, it looks like it's going to remain Mendo's ball here as some subs come in for Mendocino. Jack coming in for Theo and Bo coming in for Angelino. It looks like the Mendo is going to be passing it in from the corner. Phoenix taking in the ball. Phoenix looking for the pass, kicks it into the corner, tries to get it to David, but is stolen by Anthony. Anthony, full court pass over to Brayton. Brayton, one more to Cooper, and puts up the shot. No good, but is rebounded by Trevor. Trevor puts it up again, but another miss from Fort Bragg. Bo dribbling in for the fast break layup, no good. And a rebound from Mason. Mason taking it up in the fast break. Nice dribble move to get by Clayton there, but he passes back out to Cooper for three. Cooper gets it over to Anthony. Anthony, a little one dribble pull up jumper. No good, rebound by Clayton. Clayton over to Bo. And it looks like Fort Bragg's running some full court pressure here. However, Bo manages to pass it over to David. David misses the shot there, so it's going to be Fort Bragg's ball. Two minutes left in the third quarter, 12 to 46, Fort Bragg in the lead. Now Cooper taking the ball up the court, slowly dribbling, waiting for something to happen, calling a play. Anthony sets a screen, passing around the outside. Brayton drives in, dishes out to Mason. Mason with a good pass in to Brayton, which he barely gets. Passes over to Anthony out on the wing and Brayton goes up with a nice little floater but it is no good however Anthony gets the rebound puts it back up and it is also no good David with a good rebound there passes it to Bo Bo dribbling up the court with haste looking for a pass passes it over to Clayton and Clayton with a nice jumper but it goes off the glass Jack gets the rebound and puts it back up but it is also no good Fort Bragg getting the rebound Fort Bragg 
is up 46 to 12 with a minute and eight seconds left in the third quarter. Cooper passes it over to Mason on the outside. Mason tries to pass it in, but it is stolen. Clayton with the ball, dribbling up the court and pass it over to Bo to take the point guard spot. Pass it over to, to Phoenix, but it looks like he wasn't ready and it bounces off him into the hands of Cooper. Cooper pass it over on the wing to Mason who takes a nice jump shot and it is no good. Mendo gets the rebound and it is Bo taking up the court once again. Bo drives to drive in and a foul is called. That'll be two shots for him. Bo doing a really good job here in the second half of pushing the pace, taking lots of fast break layups and really making Fort Bragg work to play defense. However, most of his layups have not fallen. I'm sure they'll begin to fall the more he takes them. Bo is going to the line. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. 12 to 46 with Fort Bragg in the lead. Bo taking his first shot. No good, but he'll have a chance for one more. Some subs coming in for Fort Bragg. Kevin subbing in here as well as Nolan. As Bo gets ready for his second shot. Bo second free throw is no good. However, he almost grabs the rebound, but tips it back over to Kevin for the fast break layup. Kevin drains the layup with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Now it's Mendo's ball with Bo taking it up the court, looking for at least a couple points here in the last few seconds. Passes it over to David on the wing. David looking around, passes over to Phoenix, kind of stuck in the corner here with some good defense by Fort Bragg. Bo dribbling around, looking to make something out of this last seven seconds. Gets to Clayton, Clayton with a, little jump, with a floater, and it is a foul. Two shots for Clayton. We've got 3.8 seconds left in this third quarter with Fort Bragg up 48 to 12. Clayton with his first free throws of the game. We'll see how he does here. Looking around. Clayton doing a great job this game, snagging boards, putting up open shots. He'll get a chance for two shots here. His first free throw is no good, but he'll get a chance for one more. If he does this and miss this one, Fort Bragg's going to have to hustle because there's only four seconds left in the clock. Clayton, second shot, no good. Trevor gets the rebound, kicks it over to Mason. Mason shoots the buzzer beater from, full, from half court, but is no good. That'll do it for the third quarter. Only another eight minutes left here to play for the JV game. Mendocino's doing a great job at this quarter of pushing the pace, trying to get back in it, and Bo especially doing a great job of fast breaks, playing his role well. They're also doing a great job of rebounding. However, Fort Bragg has managed to keep their foot on the gas pedal and keep the lead extended. Score is currently 12 to 48. And just a reminder, if you'd like to watch the action that we're currently broadcasting, you can head over to kkx.org forward slash stream. From there, click on our primary channel and at the bottom of the menu, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Getting back in this game, starters for Fort Bragg are going to be Anthony, Ryan, as well as Orion and Mason. It looks like it's going to be Fort Bragg's possession to start the game. Mendo's going to start out on defense here. Starting for Mendo is, I believe, their starters at the beginning of the game. Clayton, Theo, Angelino, Pablo, and Bo. It looks like it's going to be Fort Bragg passing in the ball. Anthony get, gets it, passes it back over to Ryan. Ryan to the corner, gets it to Mason, and Mason steps out of bounds as he gets the pass. So it looks like it's going to be back over to Mendo's possession. Bo taking it down the court. He's balling out and passes it to, it looks like, back to Bo, and then to Theo, and then Theo puts it up but does not get it in. Theo then rebounds it, puts it back up, and does not, oh, he does get it in for a two. Back with Fort Bragg. 
Great shot by Theo there. It's gonna be back to Fort Bragg's possession. Nolan looking for the pass. Nolan drives in, gets it back out to Trevor. Trevor for the layup, but it's no good. Good defense by Angelina there, making contact and stopping the easy shot. Theo taking up the ball for Mendo. Pulls some dribble moves on Kevin, but does not get past him. Gets it to Pablo. Pablo back out to Theo for the jumper, but is no good. Kevin with the rebound here, slowing it down for Fort Bragg. Gets it over to Nolan. Nolan to Mason in the corner. Mason back to Kevin. Kevin back to Anthony. Great ball movement by Fort Bragg there. Three no good by Anthony, but Mason does grab the rebound. Gets it to Kevin. Kevin, nice pump fake. Gets Pablo sliding around here and sinks the jumper. Great dribble moves by Kevin. Pablo could not quite keep up with him and he sinks the easy pull up jump shot. That'll be 50 to 14 for Fort Bragg in the lead. Six minutes and 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Anthony up with the shot and gets it in and it also looks like he gets a foul so he's going to be taking two shots I think. He prepares himself for these shots. Takes his time. Goes up for the shot and it is no good. So he has one more. Subs are coming in from Mendo. Phoenix for Clayton and then also Jack for Angelino it looks like. Oh, uh, it goes up and there it is good. So it's going back to Mendo with Theo bringing it down, passes it to Bo. Bo then is going to bring it down the court and passes it to Theo. Theo drives into the key and puts it up, but does not get it in. And then Anthony takes it down the court back to Fort Bragg's side. He's kind of going around, passes it to Nolan, Nolan passes it then to Mason, then back to Nolan, and then back to Kevin. He goes around, then passes it to Trevor. Trevor goes up for the shot, and it is no good. Almost gets in, then it is rebounded by Theo on Mendocino's side. Theo then takes it down the court, trying to get some Pablo to come up and block so he can get some room. He's looking for someone to pass it, tries to pass it to Bo, but Bo does not receive it. It is now Fort Bragg's ball. Nolan is taking the ball in and is walking down the court and then passes it to Trevor to get it up and gets it in for a two. Pablo now is taking it down with Mendo. Trying to box out a little bit, it seems like. Passes it to Bo, Bo drives into the key and goes up for a layup, but it is no good. And I th think he might get a two shot foul. All the teams are preparing to box out. Oh, the score right now is 14 to 53. 53 being Fort Bragg, 14 being Mendocino. Bo just goes up for a th three throw and it goes in. There's four minutes and 54 seconds left in the game. Bo is preparing once again. He sh goes up and it is no good. So Fort Bragg gets the rebound. Trevor getting it and then passes it to Mason. And then passes it back to Ma Mason going down the key. And then the ball gets fouled and ends up in Anthony's hands, but is now in Mason's hands, going to pass in to his team. Mason looking for someone to give it to. He passes it to Anthony. Anthony goes up for three, but it does not fit in. Pablo with the rebound and then passes it to Bo, then to Jack and goes up, but does not get it. And then Nolan, Takes it down with the rebound. He's dribbling around, going into the key, tries to put it up and does not get it. Theo then gets the rebound. Theo taking it back down to Mendo's side, looking for someone to pass to it looks like. And dribbling and then he goes into the key, tries to go up for a shot and it is no good and Kevin then rebounds it. 
but it looks like there's a foul. And Mendocino is going to get two shots, I think. Or no, they're going to take it out. Pablo going up to pass it in. On Mendo's side, he's looking for someone to pass to, who passes it to Theo. Theo goes up for a shot, and it is good. Nolan taking it down to Fort Bragg's side, passes it to Mason. Mason dribbling around, passes it to Kevin, passes it back to Mason. And then Mendo tries to steal Bo, and then he passes it to Phoenix on Mendo, and Phoenix then passes it to Theo. Theo taking it down the court, looking once again for someone to pass it to or to go in the key. He passes it to Phoenix. Phoenix goes up for the shot and is no good. So then Mason on Fort Bragg gets the rebound, but throws it out on accident. It's going to be Mendocino's ball here. Some subs coming in. Clayton going in for Theo and David going in for Jack. A little confused why the coaches aren't playing Theo too much this game. He's definitely one of their more talented and experienced scorers for Mendocino. But Bo coming in here, dribbling into the key, gets it back out to Phoenix. Phoenix back to Bo. Great screen by Phoenix there, gets Bo an open look at the rim. However, Anthony with the good hands manages to get the steal. Anthony on the fast break is fouled by Bo, I believe. Currently three minutes and 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter, 17 to 53 with Fort Bragg in the lead. It's going to remain Fort Bragg's possession here. Anthony gets it in to Nolan. Nolan looking inside. It's not there, so he kicks it out to Anthony on the three. Anthony into Mason, pulls the post move on Phoenix, but Pablo gets a hand on it and is a jump ball. I believe it's going to be Mendocino's possession here. Only about three minutes left in the game as Angelino subs in for Pablo. 17 to 53, Fort Bragg with the major lead. Unfortunately for Mendo, two of their more experienced and older players, Jack Wilson was moved to varsity, so he is not playing this game. And Nicholas Drake is out this game as well as rebound by Fort Bragg. Tries to get the full court pass to Mason, but Bo intercepts it. Gets it over to Phoenix. Phoenix taking up the ball. Looks like calling a play here. Struggling to find the open man, but manages to see Clayton. Clayton dribbling it in, kicks out to Bo. Bo drives, gets it out to Phoenix, but Trevor gets a hand on it, and it looks like it's gonna be out on Fort Bragg. Two minutes and 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 17 to 53, Fort Bragg in the lead. Bo gets it over to Clayton. Clayton dribbling inside, but Anthony playing some good defense there. Gets it into Phoenix, who drives in for the layup. Just bounces off the rim, unfortunately for Phoenix there. Fast break pass over to Mason. He shoots the layup, it's no good, but he is fouled, so he'll get a chance to get two shots at the line. Only about two minutes left here. I believe he was fouled by Phoenix on the fast break. Clayton getting ready to, or sorry, Trevor getting ready to shoot here. His first shot is no good, but he will get one more. Mendo doing a better job at rebounding and defense in the fourth quarter, but it is a bit too late to come back in this as Forbrag does have a major lead now. Mason, second shot is no good as well. However, Kevin gets the rebound. Kevin in the three-point looking for a pass. Gets it over to Anthony, but he his three-point shot is no good. Clayton with the rebound, dribbling it in. Gets it over to Phoenix. Phoenix looking for the pass, gets it to Bo. And a foul is called on Anthony here. I believe he got a hand on Bo's wrist while he was dribbling. That'll be the seventh foul for Fort Bragg in this quarter. So it will put Mendo in the bonus here. Bo will go to the line for a chance at a one and one. If, for those of you that don't know, if he makes the shot, he'll get to take another. But if he misses, he will not. First shot is no good, but... David does get the rebound. It looks like there was a lane violation on Bo as he stepped over the free throw line when he shot. Fort Bragg's possession now. Nolan taking up the ball. 
Nolan gets it over to Mason with some nice dribble moves, but he loses a hand on it. Mason tries to drive on Mendo, but he is triple teamed by the Mendo boys. Nice fast break pass by Bo there, but Clayton just barely misses the layup. Forbrack gets it up to Mason for the wide open layup and another miss. Both teams are having trouble converting these fast break layups here. As Angelino tries to put it up, but Kevin gets a hand on it, resulting in a jump ball. Also, for those of you just tuning in, you're tuning in to KKKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, student-powered radio. For more information about this program or broadcast station, point your web browser over to kakx.org. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube using the handle kakx893. And you can even stream us anywhere across the globe by heading over to kakx.org forward slash stream. Getting back into this game here, there's only about a minute left. Clayton taking up the ball for Mendo. Huge props to Clayton this game, doing a great job of getting bored and playing good defense when Mendo needed it. Score is 17 to 53 with Fort Bragg in the lead. David trapped in the corner, but manages to get it to Angelino. It looks like Angelino jumps up for the shot, but cannot get it up, so a travel is called there. It's going to be Fort Bragg's ball, and it looks like Mendocino might decide to press here. However, only 40 seconds left in this game. 17 to 53 with Fort Bragg in the lead, so this game is just about over. Fort Bragg with the ball. Mason pulls the deep three there, but it is no good. Great rebound by David. David looking up the court, but he is trapped and double teamed by Fort Bragg. Kevin gets a hand on the ball, slowing it down, gets it over to Anthony. Anthony passes into Mason for the layup, but is no good. Looks like a scuffle for the rebound there under the hoop, but Fort Bragg tips it out, so it will be Mendo's ball with 15 seconds left in this game. Phoenix looking for the pass. Gets it to Angelino, and I believe a timeout is called. Actually, before Matt calls the timeout, it looks like Fort Bragg hits it out of bounds, so it will stay Mendo's possession. 10 seconds left. Clayton trying to dribble the ball up the court. He is fouled by Fort Bragg there. I believe that one was on Mason. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Mason's going to be called for the foul, and that is eight fouls in the half, so I believe... Clayton will go to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. Clayton heading to the line with about eight seconds left in the game. He's going to get a chance at a free throw and if he makes it, he will shoot another. Great job by both teams there, really fighting till the end of this game as Clayton shoots his first free throw. No good, but he does get the rebound. I believe he is fouled as he grabs the ball. So he'll get another chance at the line. About five seconds left in this game as Clayton gets ready for his first free throw. Um, it looks like there is a sub required for Fort Bragg as Kevin fouls out. Five fouls on Kevin there, so he has to come out of the game as Brandon subs in. And Clayton will be getting ready to shoot his last free throw here. Clayton taking his time on the free throw, setting his feet. His second shot is no good, but he gets the rebound again. Great job rebounding by Clayton here. He puts it back up, but is no good. Only about a second left in the game, and that'll do it. Ending score, 17 to 53. Fort Bragg manages to come out with the victory. Exciting game here. Both teams definitely fought till the end, and it was a good one to watch. Make sure you stick around. In 15 minutes, the boys varsity will play. It'll be Mendo boys varsity versus Fort Bragg boys varsity, and that should be a good one as well. So I am going to send it back to the station for some music, and everyone enjoy.
You're tuned in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. Today we're broadcasting Mendocino, Boys Mendocino Varsity Basketball versus Fort Bragg Boys Varsity Basketball. We are coming at you a little late. There's 6 minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. It is 2-1. to one. Cardinals are in the lead. Devin just got a steal. Shots up. Misses. And Gary with the rebound. Passes it up to Chance. Back to Gary, out to the shoulder, and he splashes a three. That was a nice three by Trayvon there. Sonny bringing the ball up. Look by, looks like Fort Bragg's gonna be playing a two-three zone. Sonny staying in the middle, slowing it down. Pick by Abel, Sonny goes over, passes to Devin in the corner. Devin drives, kicks it back up to Sonny. Sonny slowing it down again, takes the three, and air ball there. Devin with the nice rebound though, and trip by Trayvon. Trayvon with the trip right there. Devin falls to the floor pretty hard. No money, money, money. So a blocking foul is called, and Mendocino will take it out under the hoop. Five minutes, 52 seconds left in the first quarter. It's four to two. Met Fort Bragg's winning. Gary with a couple blocks, but Yoel gets the ball back, puts it up, and Gary with the rebound again. Trayvon to the shoulder, shoots it, but air balls. Sonny with the rebound, and he's taking it up the court. Sonny taking it up. Forbrack still in there, 2-3. Sonny swings it to the corner. Abel passes back to the shoulder. Devin, nice drive, dishes it out to Yoel, but a travel call on him. Looks like Gary inbounding the pass. Passes it out to Chance. Chance is dribbling up the court. Just gets up to mid-court. Abel picking him up on defense. Good D by Abel. Chance still on the shoulder. Kicks it into the post. Out to Chance. Out to Rhett. Rhett dribbling. Passes to Trayvon. Trayvon in. And he is fouled on the drive by Sonny. It, there are four, there's four minutes and 59 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. It is two to four. Fort Bragg is winning. Trayvon with his first shot. That's good. Looks like he's gonna be shooting his second here, last shot. Doing his routine. It's up and splash. Charles inbounding it to Sonny. Sonny dribbling it up the court. Crosses the half court line. Yoel calling for the pass, passes it in to Charles. Out to Yoel, Yoel drives in but misses. Charles gets the rebound, puts it up and he is fouled. He will get two shots at the free throw line. It's like number 22 fouled him. That would be, oh sorry, let me look there. Uh, thing really quick. Travis. Oh my god, I knew that. <laughs> Charles with his first free throw. Ooh, rims in there. Good shot by Charles. He'll have one more at the line. The ball will be live after his shot. 4.45 here left in the first. Goes up and ooh, rims out. rims out. Trayvon with the rebound. Slowing it down. Dribbling up court, looks like Mendo's in a man. Rhett with the ball on the side, passes it into Chance. Chance barely catches it, dishes it back out to Rhett. Rhett goes in, takes a jumper. Ooh, barely out there. Yoel with a nice rebound, passes it out to Abel, passes it back to Yoel. Yoel crossing half court line. Dribbling, passes to Sonny at the shoulder. Sonny dribbling it up. Charles with a nice screen, but doesn't budge. And then passes to Yoel at the shoulder. Passes out to Devin right there. Devin with some nice dribble moves on Trayvon. Passes to Sonny. Sonny dribbling with a deep three and hits rim. Doesn't go in. Trayvon with the ball. Left shoulder. Gary with the ball at the top. Calling Chance. Gets the ball at the top. Pass it back out to the left shoulder to Trayvon. Looks like they're just swinging it around here. Nice pass inside to the post. Travis with the post up move and it's good. That's a great basket on great defense from Charles. Sonny taking it up the court, crosses half court line. Four, 340 here left in the first quarter. It is eight to three, Fort Bragg is winning. Abel at the shoulder, passes it into Sonny. Dribbles in, shoots it. 
Misses. Charles with the rebound with the putback shot, but misses. Looks like Terrence got the rebound there. He's running it up. Passes to Rhett. Rhett goes in. And oh my god, that was a nice finish. That was a nice lefty finish by Rhett right there. Devin taking the ball up with three minutes and 14 seconds left on the clock. With the fake of the shot, passes to Yoel. Into Charles. Charles gets fouled on the shot, and he will go up for two free throws. Number 11, Rhett. Looks like Rhett did that foul there. Charles is his second time getting to the line. Let's see if he makes them both this time. Coach River pulling aside Sonny to talk to him about some things while Charles goes up for his first shot. It is good. Nice shot there by Charles. The score is 10 to 4. Fort Bragg is in the lead with three minutes and six seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. Forbach already has three fouls. Looks like they're going to try to have to mellow that out. Charles' second shot up. No good. Gare with the rebound and passes it to Chance. Chance bringing the ball up. Looks like Mendo's still in their man. Rhett with the ball. Drives and finishes. No. Rims out, but it's tipped back out to the top. Chance with the ball. He swings it. Trouts with the ball on the shoulder. He dishes it into the corner. Rhett swings it back up to Chance, and they reset. Chance dribbling over to the left elbow. Hand off to Trayvon. Almost tipped away there. Rhett gets the ball and drives, and it's good. Man, he's a good finisher around there. Yeah, that was really good. Sonny with the ball, taking it up half court with two minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. It is four to 12. Fort Bragg is winning. He kicks it out to Yoel on the shoulder, passes it into Charles in the high post. Passes it out to Sonny, but it is thrown away out of bounds for Bragg ball. Looks like Sonny almost saved it there, but couldn't quite manage to get his grip on it. Two minutes, 11 seconds left here in the first quarter. It is 12 to four. Fort Bragg is winning. Chance bringing the ball up. Looks like Abel's guarding him. Screen set by Travis. Almost stolen, but he kicks it back out to Trayvon. Trayvon, almost a half court line. Drives in, dishes it to Rhett. Rhett looking to slow it down, milk a little clock. Stops, he passes it to the corner to Travis. Rhett, he's driving in. Floater, no good. Gets his own rebound. Dishes it out to Chance. Chance at the left elbow. He's driving in. Whoa, that was a crazy move there. Ooh, Sonny on oh the floor God. with Chance. Passes it out to Yoel. Devin driving in with some nice dribble moves. Goes back out, shoots it, but misses. Charles grapples with the ball, and it is a jump ball. Looks like Fort Bragg will retain possession. Man, that guy Chance almost got his rebound while he was on the floor. Yeah, that was a really nice play. I'm surprised no fouls were called, but that was a really nice play. One minute, 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Four to 12, Fort Bragg. It's in the high post. Gary has it. He hands it off to Rhett. Rhett, oh, drive. Left-handed finish. That's his third drive. That was a really nice play by Fort Bragg. Sonny taking it up the court, just crosses half court with a minute and three seconds left on the clock. Drives in, kicks it out to Abel. Abel with the shot, and it's good. That was a very nice shot by Abel. That was a three-pointer. It is 14 to seven. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. Trayvon with the three. Hits the bottom of the rim somehow. Devin bringing it up. Pass to Abel. Abel, another three. This one's an air ball. There are... There is 40 seconds left in this quarter. It is 14 to seven, Fort Bragg is winning. Fort Bragg has three fouls, Mendo has two. Sonny just got a shot up, but it's not good. Fort Bragg with the rebound, taking it up the court. Chance, nice pass to Travis, but Travis couldn't get quite get a handle on it. Devin with the steal, taking it up. Some nice dribble, dribble moves. In the Yoel, Yoel can't finish. Mm, that was a dime there. Yeah, that was a really good pass. Chance, bring it up the left side of the court. 13 seconds left here. Looks like he's going to try to get the final shot for his team. Travis in the high post. Oh, tries good to pass. steal by Yoel. Yoel Passes steals it. Passes it out to Charles, but then... Yoel has to take the half quarter. <gasps> oh, oh, what a shot by Yoel. That was so close. Mendocino is down seven points. It is seven to 14, end of the first quarter. They're really going to have to stop Rhett's drives if they want to win this game. 
You're tuned in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. If you like what you hear, consider supporting our operation. You can do this by heading over to kkx.org forward slash donate. Again, that is kkx89, no, kkx.org forward slash donate. There's 25 seconds left in, in this timeout. For second quarter is about to start. Both teams about to break out of their huddles, probably discussing what they're going to do, what they have to fix. Mendo needs a way to break this 2-3 zone and get some shots inside because they're getting no shots. They've been all, basically all threes. There was one fast break that they had where they managed to get a layup, but they really need to find a way to get it inside. And that's the end of the, end of the huddle. Second quarter about to start. Looks like the starters for Mendo in this quarter are Abel, Yoel, Devin, Sonny, and Charles. Looks like they haven't even, Mendo hasn't even subbed anyone out. Let's see if Fort Bragg makes any changes to their lineup. And yes, it looks like number 10 Sergio was brought in for chance, I'm pretty sure. Yoel inbounds or the no, pass Gary, to... My bad. Out to Yoel at the shoulder. Yoel with the shot, misses. Rhett with the rebound, passes it up to Chance. Abel's behind him, looks to steal the ball. Can't do it, nice hustle there. Rhett with the three. Oh, shooters bounce there. Rhett has, already has nine points. That's over half of Fort Bragg's points. All right, Sunny crosses half court with the ball. Some nice dribble room moves. Great screen by Charles, and Sunny splashes the three. Like a little step there. Rhett going in. Oh, it looks like two shots for Rhett. You well, all tried to get in front of him and draw the charge, but it ended up being a foul, a blocking foul on Yoel. Yeah, Rhett just had too much momentum for Yoel to get in front of him. He, he tried, though. That was, that was a good effort. Yeah, that was a very good effort. Looks like Dylan is about to check in here for Mendo. 7.24 left in the second quarter, 10 to 17. 10 to 18, Rhett just made his first free throw. There are three fouls for each team in this quarter so far. Abel just subbed out for Dylan, and Fort Bragg just brought in Kevin for Trayvon. Right, second one is good. He already has 11 points. Man, that guy's a beast. Devin taking the ball up for Mendocino. Up at the top, dribbles in, and a foul is called on the floor. Let's see, and the foul is on. The foul is on number four. It is a pushing foul on the floor. Angel. Angel with the foul. That'll be his first. Mendo inbounding the ball. We all looking to pass, managed to get it to Devin at the corner. Devin. Devin with some nice pivot moves. Up at the shoulder, fakes the shot, passes out to Dylan in the corner. Dylan with the shot, but he misses. Sonny with the rebound in the in the low post. Sonny takes it up, and it's good. What a great low post shot from Sonny right there. Sonny has Mendocino's last five points. That was a great spin move. Rhett tries to get it inside, but no good. Dylan steals it. He is fouled. It is a reaching foul. Dylan will take it out from the bottom. 6.52. Left here in the second quarter, 12 to 19, Fort Bragg. Sonny dribbling at the top, passes it out to Yoel. Yoel passes it back to Sonny. Sonny has some trouble getting the ball, and then it is almost thrown away, but Sonny gets it back, and Yoel gets it. Oh, and Yoel falls on the floor, a foul is called. Let's and see who the foul is called on, and it is on Angel again. That's his second already. Man, that ball was just being tipped everywhere. Looks like Trayvon just came in for Sergio. Here with 6.30 left in the second quarter. That was a great hustle by both teams on that last play. Yoel passes it out to Dylan. Dylan passes it in to Sonny. Sonny with a nice block finish. That was great. It is 19 to 14. Fort Bragg is in the lead with six minutes and 21 seconds left on the clock. Travis with the mid-range jumper, no good. Looks like Sonny's keeping Mendocino in the game here. He has the last seven of their points. It's good that he's heating up for them. Dylan running it court. Yoel inbounding the pass to Sonny. Sonny dribbling it up the, the court very slowly while River calls out the plays. Passes it in to Charles. Charles back out to Sonny at the shoulder. 
Sonny driving in with a mid-range shot, and it's good. What a great Ooh, shot from Sonny. He was God. fading, too. That was great. That was faded and contested. Man, he is heating up here. Trayvon, left corner, passes it in. Angel with the ball, and looks like foul on Sonny. Angel yeah. got Sonny with a pump fake on that one. Sonny just got uh, caught in the air and fell on Angel right there. Be on the ground, though. 5.45 left in the second quarter. Trayvon inbounding it. Passes it down to Travis. Gets the ball back and easy layup there. There's that was a really nice finish there by Trayvon. Yeah, it's a defensive breakdown there. Passes it over to Dylan. Dylan is fouled. Looks like it is on Angel again. That's yeah, Angel third. with the third foul in the last three minutes. Has wow. to be some kind of record, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like they're already in the bonus. Dylan will be shooting one and one. 5.30 left in the second quarter. It's 16.21, Fort Bragg. Mendo's been able to come back a little with Sonny's flurry of shots. Dylan, first shot. Goes up and no good. Barely rims out on that one, but Fort Bragg with the rebound. He passes, that passes it all the way up to Brady. And oh, Travis with a spin move. Yeah, that was really good D by Charles right there. I'm surprised he got that shot up. Sonny dribbling, shoots the shot, and it barely rims out. That was a very close shot. Fort Bragg with the rebound, taking it up the court. Travis with a nice rebound there. Kevin taking it up, passes up to Travis at the top. Passes it to Brady. Passes it up to Travis. Travis with the three. No good. Sonny tries to get the rebound. Tip. But Rhett managed to come up with it. Rhett. Easy elbow jumper. Oh. Barely misses there. Sonny with the rebound. Sonny's got the hops. Passes it out to Devin at the three. Devin with some dribble moves. Out to Yoel with the pump fake. Out to Sonny. Pump fakes that. Drives in. And it is packed. And Trayvon takes it up the court. He's all alone. Trayvon with the layup. And it's good. Mm, nice play there by Fort Bragg. Sonny taking it up the court, just crosses half court. With four minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock, it is 25 to 16, Fort Bragg is in the lead. Yuel tries to dish it to Devin, but it's no good, he barely missed him there. And White calls a timeout, Mendocino. River obviously not happy about the last few minutes. Whether you're listening to us on your FM dial or streaming from somewhere across the globe, we appreciate you turning, tuning in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. For more information about our program, head over to kkx.org. Looks like Jack will be subbing in here probably for Charles. This timeout's almost over, first warning. It is 16.25 with 4.19 left on the clock. Fort Bragg is already in the bonus, so let's see if Mendocino can use that to their advantage. And looks like their teams are about to break out of their huddle. Ref's a little agitated, one to break out. The buzzer sounds, and it looks like Fort Bragg will be taking the ball up. Yeah, Fort Bragg ball here. Jack is in for Charles. The lineup for the... the Mendocino Cardinals is Abel, Sonny, Dylan, Jack, and Devin. Looks like Juan subbed in for Fort Bragg for Travis. The two with the ball, he drives. Jack, charge. Ooh, yeah, that was a nice what a play. great job by Jack to get right in front of the driving uh, Fort Bragg. Yeah, way offense. to get right in the game, take a charge immediately. Good job, good job. Devin passes it to Sonny. Sonny crosses half court at the top, passes to Dylan at the shoulder. Dylan thinks about the pass, passes it to Devin. Devin with the drive, the little floater, but barely misses. Trayvon with the rebound. Pass it up to Chris. Chris dishes to Rhett. Rhett, oh, passes it to Dylan there. Dylan, great, uh, great steal right there, taking it up the court. Abel open up the shoulder, but he finds Jack in the high post, and Jack is fouled. Looks like a foul be on Chris. 3.39 left in the second quarter. It is 16 to 25. Fort Bragg is in the lead. Nine fouls on Fort Bragg already in the second quarter. 
Looks like Chance will be about to sub in here after the Jack's first shot. Let's see if Jack can knock these down. It's up and oh, air ball. He air balls the free throw. Don't see that very often. No, you do not. It was a one and one, so he only got that one shot if he missed. Chance subbing in for Chris, it looks like. He's been the ball up, slowing it down. Swings it to Brady, right shoulder. Passes back up, passes to Brady again. Gets a Trayvon in the high post, makes a nice pass to Juan, and dishes it back out to Rhett, who looks to reset. They pass it back up to the top, reset. Brady driving in. Brady almost stolen by Jack, but he manages to get it. A three and no good by Juan there. Dylan with a good rebound, falls on the floor, passes to Jack, but they call a travel on Dylan. River wants a timeout, but is not getting awarded to him. He's pretty grumpy about that one. He thinks he called timeout before the travel was called. But it'll be Fort Bragg ball under the basket. Three minutes left in the second quarter, 16 to 25, Fort Bragg. Pass to the corner. Juan getting the ball, the block. Passes out to Trayvon. Trayvon swings it back up to Chance to reset. Brady with the ball in the corner. Dylan with the steal. Dylan, fast break. Oh, looks like foul on Trayvon on the fast break as he's trying to stop Dylan. That was a very good fast break op opportunity by Dylan. He barely misses the layup, but is fouled. He will take two shots at the free throw line, and Fort Bragg already has 10 fouls in the second quarter with two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. That was a good foul, though, just to stop the fast break. Dylan's first one is up and out. Looks like Trayvon is subbing out for Gary here. I think he might be in foul trouble. And Travis will be going in for Juan. The score is still the same, 25 to 16. Fort Bragg is in the lead by nine points. 2.50 left in the clock. Dylan's second free throw. It's up and it's good. All right, now it's a seven point lead by Fort Bragg. It is 17 to 25. Clock is not going, now it is. Refs do not see that. Dylan with the nice steal. Passes to Sonny on the shoulder. Sonny thinks about the three, but dribbles it out to reset the play. Out to Devin. Devin thinks about passing to the corner. Oh, and Chance with the steal, but he pushes Devin to get it, and I think a foul is called on the floor by Chance. No idea what this happened. It looked like Devin dribbled it off his leg. Chance tried to go for the fast break, but apparently they said he pushed Devin. I think Chance, as he went for the ball, pushed Devin out of his way, so it was a foul on Chance. Yeah. That will be 11 fouls now for, for Bragg, I'm pretty sure, but they are not changing uh, what is on the board. Devin sinks the free throw. It is 25 to 18 now, seven point lead by Fort Bragg. Abel subs out, Charles subs in. Yeah, they have 11 fouls here, and they might definitely, definitely get record. Devin missing his next free throw. Right with the ball, passes it up to Chance. Chance, left elbow, drives in, has to high post. Rhett, open three, it's deep, and no good. Gary pulls down the rebound. Jack manages to get his hand on it, and it's a jump ball. Fort Bragg will retain possession on this one. Yeah, the next one will be going to Mendo. They will be taking it out from under the hoop. Mendo is playing a zone defense, it looks like. Devin uh, playing defense on the ball on chance. Yeah, did Mendo just switch into a 3-2? I think so. Travis with the ball in the high post. No good, his shot, but Brady managed to come up with the rebound. Passes to chance. Rhett driving in, uh-oh. Oh, he misses that. Looks like Honey, Sonny might have gotten his hands on it. Brady with another rebound. Chance driving. Jump stops. Brady passes it to Gary. And, oh, that was a dime. Passed it into Travis for the and one. That was a very nice, um, that was a very nice basket by Travis right there. He gets whacked on it too. It is 27 to 18. Fort Bragg is still in the lead with one minute and 49 seconds left on the clock. Fort Bragg has 11 fouls, but they still haven't changed it from 10. And Mendo has five. It's like that foul would have been on Charles there. Actually, I believe the foul was on Sonny. And that was his third foul of the game. Yeah, it seems like he's being taken out because he's going to get in foul trouble soon. 
That is definitely not good for Mendocino Sunny. He's one of their best players. If you're not familiar with uh, high school rules, if you get five fouls in a game, you are fouled out. Instead of in, in the NBA, it's six. Yeah, they have longer quarters in the NBA too, so mm -hmm. it makes it makes sense. Chance inbounding the ball under their hoop. One at 145 left. Passes it to the corner. Gary, ooh, can't manage to catch that. Devin with the steal. Oh, and it is picked by Chance and is out of bounds. Still Mendocino ball, though. 137 on the clock, 18 to 27. That was a very Brown. nice hustle play by Chance right there. Passes it in to Devin from the inbounds. Devin with a floater, but misses. Jack with the nice rebound, and it is stolen by Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg out to Chance at the shoulder. Travis in the high post. Travis dishes it out to Gary. Passes it back up to Chance. Chance looks out like the, he tried to go in for the layup. He thought he got fouled, but no foul called. Tries to drive in, but just loses the ball. Yeah, I don't think there was a foul there. No. Charles was definitely straight up and down. Devin at the top, splits his defenders. Passes it out to Jack at, at mid-range baseline, but gets it stolen by Chance. Chance trying to drive in, passes it out to the shoulder. Shoulder shot by number five, misses. Brady missed that three there. Rimmed out Mendocino ball with under a minute left here in the second quarter. Devin bringing it up. Looks like he does not want to go for the two for one here. 18 to 27, Mendocino. With 50 seconds left in the clock. Devin with the shot, barely misses, just rims out. Jack holds on to the ball with Gary right there, and it is a jump ball. Looks like it is Mendocino's ball. Mendocino can still get a quick shot up for a two for one if they want. 44 seconds left. They pass it to Dylan. Oh, Dylan was open, didn't take it. He passes it back into Yoel. Passes it into Jack. Jack tries to pass it to Charles. Charles. Oh, three seconds with the key called. 35 seconds left on the clock. It is 27 to 18. Fort Bragg is in the lead by nine points again. Fort Bragg bringing it up, looking to get the last shot here. Travis dishes out to Rhett. Travis at the elbow. Oh. That was not a, not a very nice shot. 22 seconds left on the clock. Yoel dribbling it up. Passes it out to Devin. Passes it back into Yoel. Yoel with a little floater, but misses it. And Fort Bragg with the rebound, taking it up the court. Fort Bragg. Oh, nice pass into Gary. Whoa. That was a I didn't dime right there. Not see that one coming. A little hook pass by Rhett. Two one seconds, seconds left. left. And Yoel almost with a nice running three, but barely misses it. You're tuned in to Mendocino High School's own KKX 89.3 FM located in Mendocino, California. Our friends just call it Student Powered Radio. End of the second quarter here. It's 18-29. Fort Bragg is in the league. Both teams going to their respective locker rooms. This is a very good game so far by both teams, the Timberwolves and the Cardinals. There is nine minutes and 40 seconds left of the halftime. 29 to 18, Fort Bragg is winning. Looks like Sonny's little run kept a minute and we're gonna switch you over to our friends right now.
9.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. Just a live broadcast of Mendocino's own basketball, high school varsity boys basketball team versus Fort Bragg varsity. It is 7.35 left in the third quarter, just coming out of halftime. 18.31, Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg with the steal. Sonny can't very, really dribble. Oh, looks like Chance stepped out of bounds right there, but the rest did not call that. He swings it to Rhett, passes it back up to Chance, to Travis in the high post. Nice pass out to Trayvon. Three is no good, but Rhett gets the rebound. A little turnaround fade shot there is good That was for a Rhett. very nice shot by Rhett right there. Sonny dribbling it up the court. Just crosses half court line with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Abel with a nice screen. Passes it into Devin in the post and a foul is called. Let's see who it's on. It is on number 24, Gary. Gary. Looks like Fort Bragg is running a, oh, Gary. Oh, Chance with the steal there. Oh, that was a very nice steal. Oh, Abel with his hand in the passing lane. Gets the ball, Yoel gets it, takes a pull up three. Misses it. Yoel grabs his own rebound. Misses the putback. Out to Sonny at the three. Sonny drives in with a nice floater. And it rims in. That was a very difficult and very beautiful shot by Sonny Garasano right there. Looks like both th teams are going to be running a 2-3 zone. Let's see which some, what one of them is better at that. Chance passes to Travis in the high post. Very nice ball movement by Fort Bragg, but it gets picked off. Sonny gets a hand on it. Charles comes up with the rebound. Yoel passes it to Sonny at the shoulder. Sonny with a little Euro step, passes it into Abel with a very nice dish, and Abel lays it in. It is 22 to 33. Fort Bragg is in the lead by 11 points. With six, six. minutes left in the quarter. Gary dishes it out to Rhett. Very nice ball movement by Fort Bragg, almost a backcourt. Chance puts it, dishes to Rhett, Rhett to Gary. Four bags passing is not quite there in the second half yet, but the ideas are there. Their passing in the first half was very good, I'll have to say. Yeah. Sonny taking it up the court with five minutes and 42 seconds left, and it looks like they throw it away. It is Fort Bragg's ball with Travis um, inbounding the ball to Chance. There's a ton of turnovers here in the beginning of the half. Chance slowing the ball down. Hopefully Fort Bragg can get a nice passing play going. They're doing their motion get to Gary in the short corner. Back up to Rhett. Rhett back into Gary. Ooh, nice two-man game there. Charles stays straight up. Very good defense. Gary thought he was fouled on that. Devin with some nice dribble moves into the lane. Oh, really nice finish on that one, but barely misses. That was, that was a crazy move there. Right with the ball at the wing. Slowing it down. Dribbling. Abel's guarding him. Abel with some clamps on the outside of the three-point line. Rhett with a three. Ooh, splash. Very nice shot by Rhett right there. He has a lot of Fort Bragg's points. It is 36 to 22. Fort Bragg is in the lead with 4.45 left in the clock. Sonny drives in, kicks it out to Devin. Devin with the shot, barely misses, just rolls off the rim. Out to Trayvon and the low post, and Trayvon with a really nice finger roll layup. That was a fast break there. Yeah, I think Rhett has 15 points now. Wow. He might be the best player on this court. Sonny dribbling the ball up the side. Sonny with a nice move right there. Passes it into Charles at the high post. Charles back out to Sonny. Sonny with a three. Heavily contested, and he air balls. Yeah, it, it looks like it might have gotten tipped there. It bounces right out, and Yoel tries to save it, but it hits the wall before he can. Dylan subbing in for Abel for Mendocino. 4.15 left here in the third quarter, 22-38 Fort Bragg. Good defense by the Cardinals right here. Out to Red at the three, misses the shot. Out to Chance, Chance jacks up the three, but misses. Fort Travis Bragg with, with the rebound, rebound. Another, another one, wow. Another three point shot, misses. Another rebound by Fort Bragg. Charles finally with the rebound for the Cardinals. Passes it out to Devin. Devin taking it up the court with the fast break opportunity. Devin with some nice dribble moves. Pulls up from the three and makes the Ooh. shot. That was very nice by Devin right there. Chance didn't know where he was going on that one. 
Oh, and it gets stolen by Dylan. Oh, Dev Dylan, a very nice steal, but Yoel dribbles it off his leg. It is 38 to 25. Fort Bragg is still in the lead with three minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock. Oh my God, you're well with the steal at full court. Dylan tries oh. to pass it, but Chance gets the steal. That's Chance's like 10th steal. Chance has a lot of steals right now. Oh, Sonny with an amazing block just denies the layup. Chance with some hustle defense, but fouls Sonny. A reaching foul right there on the ground. One foul for the Fort Bragg. Oh, make that two fouls now. Chance's second foul. Yeah, you're not going to see Rhett get blocked when he's driving with that momentum much. That was, a, that was a nice defensive play. That was a very nice defensive play right there. 313 left on the clock, 25-38, Fort Bragg. Charles with a nice screen, rolls, but Sonny decides to shoot it himself, and he makes it. Oh, the inbound pass by Travis gets thrown away, and it is Mendocino's ball. 38-27 to 27 with three minutes and two seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. Coach River calls a timeout for Mendocino. I think PA called a timeout, or Fort Bragg called a timeout, my bad. Uh, I would too, they just had a few bad turnovers. You're tuned in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. For more information about this program or broadcast station, point your web browser over to kkx.org. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube using the handle KKX893. You can even stream us from anywhere across the globe by heading over to kkx.org forward slash stream. 27, 38 here. Three minutes left on the clock in the third quarter. Let's see if Mendocino's ball. Let's see if PA can stop these turnovers. Mendocino able to go on a little run here. For Bragg actually playing Mendocino. Not, not Point Arena. Not oh point my God, arena. sorry, my bad. <laughs> I just, yeah, I had a game a little tired. Looks like Dylan is taking the ball out for Mendocino with three minutes and two seconds left on the clock. This is a very evenly matched game, even though uh, the Cardinals are down by 11. It is a very good game that is being played right here. Yeah, third quarter has been great for the Cardinals. Passes it to Sonny, into the high post with Charles. Charles tries to back him down, out to Devin at the shoulder. Passes it to the corner, into Sonny. Sonny with a nice le little shot from the block and it is good. It is 29 to 38. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. Looks like Mendocino's running a surprise press trying to catch Fort Bragg off guard, noticing they've had a little bit of turnovers. Mendocino's on a 9-0 run, I think. It's pretty nice. Looks like there was a foul on Mendocino. The foul was called on Yoel right there. That's Yoel's second foul. Charles with some nice defense, but is called for the foul. He kind of reached his hands in. Didn't go, quite go straight up on that one. It is a shooting foul. Gary will shoot two free throws here. Two minutes, 37 le seconds left on the clock in the third. 29-38. Mendocino is down. Gary shoots his first. It is good. It is 29-39. Fort Bragg is in the lead by 10 points with two minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock. Very second is, oh, no good. Good rebound by Charles right there. Passes it to Devin. Devin taking it up the court with full speed. Devin step back, but decides to pass it back to Sonny. Sonny with some nice pivots, shoots it and makes it. That was a very nice mid-range shot by Sonny right there. Oh. Dylan almost with the steal from the inbound pass. Fort Bragg running it. Gary with the lamp, and it's good. Sonny is going off this game. Great defense by Charles Jones right there. That was really good, but Fort Bragg just seems to make every single layup right there. Sonny. Yeah, Rhett is a very good passer. Oh. Sonny thinks Devin is doing something else on the baseline, but throws it away. Fort Bragg inbounding the pass with a really nice press by the Mendocino Cardinals right now. Looks like they're running a man press, but they managed to get the ball to Rhett. Oh, Chris passes it to Chris. Chris at the top, slowing it down. Rhett driving and tripping on Yoel. Ooh, looks like Yoel's hurt there on the trip. He must have gotten stepped on. I wonder if Coach River's going to sub out. Yes, he is. River coming 
Abel about to come in with the Ryder. No, Ryder about to come oh, in. Oh, Ryder coming in, taking off his warm-up jersey. Ryder coming in for UL. UL has three fouls in the third quarter. It is 41 to 31. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. Fort Bragg making their inbound play in the Gary of the low block, and he makes it. Dylan taking it up the court for the Mendocino Cardinals. Out to Sonny. Sonny with a deep three. Hits back iron and misses. Fort Bragg with the rebound. Fast break opportunity. Rhett jacks up the three-point shot. Devin with the rebound. Devin, oh, throws it away. Travis with the steal. Rhett getting momentum. Pushes Dylan over, no foul, three. Oh, no good. I am very surprised that they did not call a foul on that one. That was a very blatant push right there. Well, Dylan's feet weren't set. I kind of like that no call. I don't like fouls, they slow down the game. Oh, Ryder mm. getting the ball. Passes it out to Devin at the corner. Devin into Sonny. Sonny with a nice little push shot in the, in the key. And it is 33 to 43. Fort Bragg still in the lead by 10 with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Sonny has probably over 20 points right now. He's keeping Mendocino in it. Rhett with another easy lap. They're going to have to stop giving these up if they want to win this game. Sonny taking the ball up for Mendocino. Abel checking in at the scorer's table. Passes it out to Ryder at the shoulder. Shoulder passes it into Devin. Into Charles at the low block. Charles puts it up. Misses. Grabs his own rebound and is fouled on the putback shot. Charles will be going to the line for two shots on this one. Looks like Abel will be checking in for Ryder. Here with 22 seconds left, 33 to 45. Mendocino is down, but it's been a good quarter for Mendocino. They've managed to shorten up the game. Charles, first free throw. It's good. I've been noticing in practice Charles just working on his free throws over and over again. He's been getting a lot better at them. Yeah, when I first met him, man, he could not shoot, but he has improved significantly. Charles with the second free throw, puts it up and hits back iron. Fort Bragg with the rebound, taking it up. Looks like Fort Bragg will probably slow it down, try to get the last shot of this quarter. There is 13 seconds left on the clock. Sonny tips it. Devin with the steal, fast break opportunity, passes it into Dylan. Dylan with the layup, barely misses. Sonny with the putback shot, and it's Ooh, good. What a great a play by Mendocino. Buzzer sounds. It is 45 to 36. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. What a game this is. That was a big play for Mendocino. They managed to bring it down to single digits. You're tuned in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. If you like what you hear, consider supporting our operation. You can do this by heading over to KX, KKX89. No, KX. My bad. KKX.org forward slash donate. Again, that's KKX.org forward slash donate. Looks like Mendocino will be down nine going into the fourth quarter. If they play, their ass is off. And. And. Don't let any layups in. They should have a chance at winning this game. All right. 12 seconds left before the fourth quarter. It is 45 to 36. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. And the teams are about to break out of their huddles, starting their chance. Final buzzer sounds, or first buzzer sounds for a warning. Eight minutes left in the game. Let's see if Mendocino can pull back and win this game. For Mendocino on the court right now, it's Devin, Abel, Charles, Dylan, and Sonny. Dylan inbounding the pass to Sonny with a fresh clock. Eight minutes in the fourth quarter. I wonder if Yoel's still out. If he doesn't play this fourth quarter, it's gonna be big loss for Mendocino. Travel called there on Sonny. Chance checking in for Chris here. Mendocino still in their man press. Chance running down. Oh, oh he bumps into whoa. his teammate. A little miscommunication there. Chance just trying to get the ball, but Trayvon just like kind of pushed him out of the way and got the ball. Passes to Chance. Brett. Oh, nice pass. That was a very, very nice pass by Fort Bragg. And they get the rebound. 
and a foul is called. Oh, actually, a jump ball is called. Dylan is playing a phenomenal defense this game. Oh, actually, there's some argument between the refs, and I guess they are calling a foul on Dylan. Could be a jump ball, too. They're bringing it out from where they'd bring it out. I'm not very sure what they called. I believe that it was a foul because the ref walked over a scores table saying a foul on Dylan was called. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Brett thinks about the three, but doesn't. Chance with the ball on the wing. He drives. Oh, oh my God. He Very just, nice finish by Chance. Wow. He just weaved through the entire Cardinals team there. Sonny dribbling it up. Passes it into Devin. Devin was wide open right there, but then the defense collapsed on him, misses the layup. Sonny waiting for Fort Bragg to come back. Good transition defense right there. Trayvon dishes it out to Brady. Brady can't quite get the shot up. Gets it back at the wing. He drives. Travis with the deep two. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Rhett wow. managed to catch it and oop it back in. Very nice put back with six minutes and 46 seconds left on the clock. It is 49 to 36. The Timberwolves are up by 13. Very nice pass into Devin. Devin passes it to Charles in the post and Charles with a nice little push shot. That was a nice play there. I wonder if River drew that up in the timeout. Brett driving. Oh, and he makes it. Man, you cannot stop that drive. Yeah, Charles playing the best defense he can right there. But Rhett just yeah, an man, amazing he was straight finisher. Up and down. Once he gets that momentum, he's hard to stop. Sonny kicks it out to Abel, swings it into Charles. Charles with the f Charles is fouled on the shot, it looks like. Yes, he is. And... Oh, well, not on the shot. It, I guess it was a floor foul. Oh, passes it into Sonny, but it is stolen. Brady with the ball. And, oh, pa nice pass to Trayvon with the easy bucket. Trayvon's been getting a ton of open laps this game. Sonny bringing the ball up. Charles trying to set the screen, but it is picked by Brady. Brady, a very nice steal right there. Yeah, Brady's a good player. I've played with him some. He, he's a very good defender. Rhett with the ball, dishes into Trayvon. Nice pass, looks like it bounced off of one of Mendocino's feet. Yoel checking in for Abel at, with five minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. It is 38 to 53. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. Four fouls for each team. Fort Bragg's pulling away from Mendo little by little here in the fourth. Brady, open three, decides not to take it. Pass to Travis. Travis doing work down low. Oh, and one. Five minutes and 31 seconds left on the clock. That was a very nice finish right there by Travis. River calls a timeout. Yes, Fort Bragg's driving this game has been absolutely spectacular. 5.30 left on the clock, 38.55. Whether you're listening to us on your FM dial or streaming from somewhere across the globe, we appreciate you tuning in to KKX 89.3 FM, Mendocino, California, Student Powered Radio. For more information about our program, head over to kkx.org. All right, five minutes and 31 seconds left on the clock. Still a timeout right now. We just finished um, before the timeout. Charles with a foul, his third. Yeah, Travis will be shooting one free throw when he gets back in the game. Mendocino looking, trying to maybe win, but they're down a lot. I don't know. It's a winnable game at this point. Well, of course they're trying to win, though. That's, yeah, that's kind mean, of what obviously. they're trying to do. But, yeah, I think it's a they can do it if their defense just keeps up like this. And uh, if they put a stop to Rhett finishing all those shots and Trayvon with the easy layups. Yeah, as my coach says, anything can happen on the basketball court. Travis lining up for his free throw. Travis, free throw, live ball after this. Throws it up and it's good. It is 56 to 38. Oh, actually, it looks like a lane violation by Fort Bragg. No basket called. 
I believe Travis crossed the line before the ball went in. So that's what no it, point. That's what it looks like. Sonny dribbling it up the court. Up at the top. A couple screens by Charles and Yoel. Kicks it out to Devin. Devin looks like he is fouled shooting and he will take two layups or I mean two free throws out of the line. Five fouls for each team with five minutes and 19 seconds left on the clock. It is still 55 to 38 for Bragg is in the lead. First free throw is good. Devin, one of the best free throw shooters on the Cardinals team, I would say. He is doing a very good job today. Looks like he has to tie his shoe here. And Bryson will be checking in for Travis here at the end of the game. Five minutes and 19 seconds still on the clock. Devin puts up the free throw. Oh, and it barely misses. Forbrog with a 16-point lead. Looks like Forbrog just going to milk the clock, not let Mendo have a chance to come back into this game. Chance, nice drive, jump stop. And a, a travel is called on Chance. It was because he jump stopped, and it looked like he kind of took a step right there. I would have just been his pivot, but I, I thought that was a clean play, but oh. ref might have saw something I hadn't. Yeah. Sonny with the open three. And it's good. What a great shot by Sonny. Cardinals Wait. are still down 13. It is 55 to 42 with four minutes and 47 seconds left on the clock. Trayvon with the shot. No good. Oh, Red managed to pull up the rebound and shoots it. Rhett has definitely over 20 points here. He is going off on the Cardinals this game. Yeah, Rhett's just killing the Cardinals. Yeah, he is an oh. amazing player. Oh, and Trayvon, Trayvon with, with three a man. really nice steal and a fast break. That must be his fifth fast break. He can run the floor. Oh, nice pass all the way down the court. Dylan, Dylan with, with the, the three. Shot. Banks in. Wow, <laughs> what a shot by Dylan right there. Don't see many banks. Jack will be checking in for the Cardinals. Next dead ball. Chance passes it in to Rhett. Ooh, no good. Looks like Jack is checking in for the Cardinals. He will be coming in for Devin. Devin going out. I don't think Devin will be going back in this game. Well, there the, is a very good minutes. chance that he will. With over half of the quarter still left in the game. Play well, come on. Rhett, spin move, pass it in. Oh, it looks like Juan just got fouled in there. Looks like a reaching foul. I think it was on Jack right there. Yeah, reaching foul on Jack. Four minutes left in the game, 45-59, Fort Bragg. Rhett gets the ball in the corner. Rhett driving in. Pass it out. Oh, Chance misses layup. Rhett gets the rebound. Wow, that was a nice rebound. Turnaround jumper. And Brady gets the rebound. Fort Bragg is doing a great job rebounding. Rhett driving. Oh, that's his drive down the baseline. And it's good for the end one. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like the foul was called on number one. Sonny. Sonny Verasano. That is Sonny's fourth foul. One more foul, and he will be out of the game. There's still three minutes and 35 seconds left on the clock. With the shot, he misses. Charles with a really nice rebound. Passes it to Dylan. Dylan taking it up the court. Passes it into Yoel at the shoulder. Yoel driving in, looking for a pass. Passes Double it teamed. to Sonny, but it is taken by Fort Bragg. Right, gets the ball. Dylan, wow, Dylan is playing great defense tonight. He steals it. He's running up. Oh, Chance tried to take a charge, but the refs called no call. Dylan makes the nice layup. Chance barely got any contact on that one. He just like flopped right there. <laughs> Very good uh, no call by the refs. I believe Sonny might have just fouled out of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see who they called the foul on. Refs communicating here. Yes, that is Sonny's Sonny. fifth foul. I believe he is out of the game now. Sonny not coming out of the game. Sonny. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now he is. Mitch coming in. This is his first varsity high school game. 
just joined the varsity team. Sonny with a great, great game today. Great yeah, Sonny game. was going, Sonny was making everything, man. He is a very good shooter. Mitch going in, he was injured for a little while. Oh, he gets the rebound there. Oh, very nice rebound by Mitch. Nice spin move. Yoel taking it up the court. Yoel with a nice crossover, passes it to Dylan. Dylan with a deep three, and it's good. Smooth like butter on that shot. Still in second three this quarter. Rat with the drive. Oh, he misses one, finally. Thought that one, I think he might have tried to dunk it there. But doesn't look like he. Yoel passes it in the Mitch. Mitch looking for a pass. Passes it out to Dylan at the three. Dylan goes over to the shoulder, shoots the three, but misses. Chance with the rebound, taking it up the court on the fast break opportunity. Oh, spins, loses Dylan there. The help comes and they have to reset. That was a beautiful spin move by Chance right there. But driving, kicks it to the corner and looks like Mendocino tipped it out. So Fort Bragg will sell possession of this ball. It is an 11 point game with two minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock. Eight fouls for the Cardinals, five fouls for the Timberwolves. Brady with the open three. Good no. close out by Jack or by Mitch right there. Passes it to Yoel. Yoel taking it up the court. Shakes his defender. Charles with a nice screen. Oh, but it is taken by Chance. Chance with the layup, and it is good. Fast break opportunity by Chance. Very good. Yeah, that's just what killed men of this game. Too many fast break points by Fort Bragg. Oh, looks like pass no good. Mitch tips it out. Yeah, as I was saying, they really, if they wanted to win this game, stop turning the ball over, and they might have had a chance. It's like Rhett subbing out for Kevin here with 135 left in the game. It's a 13 point game with a minute and 33 seconds left on the clock. Fort Bragg gets through the Mendocino press. It was a very good press. Charles with the rebound, passes it out to Mitch. Mitch drives in. Oh, and is packed by chance. Wow, what a deny. That was very nice. Chance playing very, very good defense this game. He has a lot of steals. Almost gets ones there, but Jack manages to get up with it and scores. It is an 11 point game now. Oh, and oh, oh wow, an open layup by Kevin, but he misses it. Looks like he had the open layup and he tried to do a reverse for some reason. Harder shot. Maybe he's better at it. 110 left on the clock, 52 63. Mendocino is losing. Chance pass it up, Brady with the ball. And, oh, Gary with the three, that's out. Juan with the rebound, reload, and that's an air ball there by Bryson. Chance trying to save the ball on that one, but it is just called out by the ref. Dylan passing it in to Yoel. Yoel playing point in these final seconds. There's 54 seconds left in, this, in the final quarter. Yoel driving in. Gets in some trouble, throws it away. Tries to pass it to Charles, but very good defense by Fort Bragg. Bryson with the rebound. Chance bringing it up. Crossover. Ties, oh, almost picked there, but Juan managed to pick it up. Yeah, oh, nice Dylan. steal by Dylan. Dylan's like 10th steal this game. Oh, oh, Dylan slips on the court, loses his dribble, and passes it to Mitch. Mitch driving in, passes it out to Jack at the in the corner. Passes it into Charles, and he is fouled with 21 seconds left in the game. It is an 11-point game. Fort Bragg is still in the lead. Ooh, they're not in the one and one, not in the bonus yet, so there will be no free throws. Yuel, jumper. Oh, rims out there. Yuel with some good hustle defense, but it is kicked by Fort Bragg. And, yeah. and Dylan is taking it up the court with seven seconds left. Calls for a screen. Oh, Chance with tries to play or tries to steal the ball, but he reaches in on Yoel. And it is the seventh foul for the Timberwolves, and that will put Dylan at the line. 
Dillon getting a one and one here with three and a half seconds left in the game. Let's see if he can knock these down. First one, ooh, not good. Oh, it was a one and one it and was nobody a one and one. realized oh. it. And the game is over, the buzzer sounds. 11 point game, 63 to 52, Timberwolves win it. What a great game. Both teams played very, very hard and both teams did very, very well. Yeah, Mendocino had a great chance of winning that game, but Rhett just took over there at the end and managed to secure this win for Fort Bragg. Rhett's finishing and shooting combined with uh, Chance's defense was just amazing. All right, yeah. we're gonna wrap things up here from the Mendocino High School gym. It was very fun doing this with you guys. But we'll yeah. turn it over to the station right now. Thanks yeah, for listening. Thanks for listening.